Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at simple file sharing between Macs. So, I've gotten a few questions recently about very simple file sharing between Macs. So, let's go and take a look at part of chapter 13 of my book, The MacMost.com Guide to Switching to the Mac, and see how to do simple file sharing. Let's assume that you have two Macs both connected to the same network router, such as a DSL or cable modem, or an Airport Extreme base station. The first thing you need to do is to enable file sharing on both Macs, launch System Preferences, and go to the Sharing Preferences category. Turn on File Sharing. When you do so, you'll see a number of controls appear on the right. You have a public folder set to be shared by default. When that folder is selected, you can see how other users can access that folder. In this case, someone logged in to file sharing as MacMost can read and write files to that folder. Anyone else can only read files. That means they can view them and copy them. Permissions for staff apply to any other account on that same Mac. Permissions for everyone apply to anybody connecting to your Mac from the network or from the internet. You can view the public folder from another Mac using the Finder. Open a new Finder window and choose Go Network. You should see a list of other Macs on your local network that have file sharing enabled. Double click on the Mac to which you want to go. If you want to log on as a guest, you can just double click on the folders to go inside, see the public folder, and view the Dropbox. However, if you want to log on as the user for that machine to have full access, click the Connect As button. If you log in with a name and a password, it must be the same name and password as a user on that Mac. If it is your Mac, use the same name and password you use to log on when you start the Mac up. After you've signed in, you'll have access to the files on that computer. You can view the folders in Finder Windows just like you can the folders on your local Mac. And then you can view, copy, move those files just as you would. But expect a delay. After all, you are connected to a network. So there may be a second or two as commands go from your Mac to the remote Mac and back and you see the changes. Alternatively, you can allow any username and password combination to work. You'll notice back in the System Preferences a plus button under the Users list. You can use this to add usernames and passwords to each shared folder and set whether they can read or write or both to any folder. So if you're working on a file, you may find it better to actually copy that file to your local Mac, work with it there, and then copy it back to the remote Mac when you're done. So that's a very simple look at setting up file sharing. The book then goes on to look at things like the public folder and the Dropbox, setting up more folders to share, connecting two machines directly, not through a network, and of course sharing files with Windows machines on your network. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>